Some governors are saying we should pardon these bandits so that they can surrender. Oba Sani speaks. According to Oba Sani, the governor of Cardinal State said, State governors have recently suggested that bandits should be granted pardons in exchange for turning in their firearms. He did, however, emphasize that any attempts made by other governors to use such genetic tactics had not been successful. He brought attention to the alarming fact that between 85 to 90 percent of people who live in Nigeria Northwest struggle to make ends meet. He drew attention to the statistical landscape of Nigerian out of school children, pointing out that a sizable proportion is found in the Northwest. He maintained that encouraging bandits to give up their firearms is not enough to overcome the current insecurity situation. He said in an interview with Channel Television, about 85 to 90 percent of the people that live in the northwestern part of Nigeria are living below the poverty line. And of course, if you look at the statistics of out of school children in Nigeria, we can see that a lot of them are from the northwestern part of Nigeria. This is the reason why I kept on calling for good governance because people kept talking about the using the non kinetic approach to end this crisis of insecurity. It is not only by asking these bandits to surrender their weapons. Most of these efforts were made some years ago by past governors and it didn't yield any results. And again, recently, some governors are saying we should pardon this bandit so that they can surrender. And I said there is only one suspect of a known and I said that is only one aspect of a non kinetic which for me is not even the most important one. The most important one is looking at the condition of the people generally, the poverty and the hopelessness generally. So this is what I'm going to see. It is not easy anywhere. But coming out saying that it is not a strategy. I don't see it as a strategy. You coming out and you, uh, what's it called? You coming out and uh, coming out to, how am I going to put it now? To say, okay, oh, anybody that surrendered their arms, oh, they are going to be pardoned. It is not supposed to be so. All right, so him saying them to drop their firearms or AK-47 rifle or whatever, and then stay. And then the video. All right, any governor that is saying bandits should be pardoned is one of their sponsors, and such governor should be thoroughly investigated. And if found culpable being impeached and made to face the full wrath of the law, these people are friends, and they should only be made to die honorably if it could only produce the moniker of some governors are requesting that they should be pardoned. What about the innocent Jewish citizens of this country that have lost their lives in their hands? Boko Haram's and other villains have not been able to defeat it. It's because they have politicians to work for. Maybe you are the grand patron and maybe they should be pardoned and live in the government's house. Okay. These governor are pattern okay, a patron of the bandits. Such governor governance and terrorists. Nobody should take them serious. So you've seen it now. This particular issue is not an issue of um, let us sit down, let us collect firearms. No, 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 no. It's certainly not it at all. Any governor that even say that, that alone, now the person is not ready. All right, well, at the end of the day, I've said it before, at the end of the day, this is not the right way to go about it. Telling these people to drop their firearms immediately, it is definitely not the right way to go about it at all, at all, at all. It's just because they did not they did not unalive anybody in the family of these governors. That is why they are saying that. I don't understand though. 
did not watch the impact, nothing, nothing. All right. I want to say the new southern governor is among those that say they should pardon the bandits. It's from Boko Haram and kidnappers and terrorists. Which kind of pardon? I think those that said it are enjoying the rassles they collected from their victims. Of course, there is no two ways about it. All oh, the governors who say such a word, I would want sponsoring them. Because if not, why would they say so? All right, well, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, okay, please do not answer. The best is to honor life then when found. Burkina Faso is enjoying a measure of peace now because they, they honor life all bandits arrested. We did do that here. I don't know. Pardon was, please, the government do the need for unless they indeed the involved, period. Well, even you talking, I don't trust you. Big disgrace for this country called Nigeria. You have been defeated by ordinary few people and co-bands. Okay, this is the secret plan of a knot. They know they know themselves, they are dances of shame. You should pardon them because if it is you, send you them to do that. It is not okay, if not the proper law against them, look at the life these people have wasted. I they tell you. Our governors are not even helping us in the fight against insecurity. All right. Pardoning them during Buhari's time would have made more people to join them. Since there is no penalty given to them, I don't even know why the government does not want to pass law to execute any kidnapper. All right, your predecessor allegedly confessed to paying them, which you did no results. What kind of predecessor are you talking about? It is wickedness to call them governors instead of some sponsors of the bandits. All right, this should be really, really. This should be really silly thinking from a silly and shameless governor of governors. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.